This is my mantra. I study hard now in order to work and live for the benefit of others. The future depends on what we do in the present. Learn as if you were to live forever. Practice the positive mind of saying yes to whatever anyone says. He who cultivates a positive mindset performs better in the face of challenge. I stay committed to the growth and development of this company. Practice the generous mind of giving to everyone you meet. I am a person of integrity. Integrity is the foundation that a successful life is built on. And here's another wonderful story, aka Dharma talk. When a wicked person is well off, people say that good people frequently lead miserable lives, and the wicked lead fortunate lives. They blame heaven for being indifferent. However, causes for such situations have been planted in past incarnations. A man lives his whole life with the virtue. And a clear conscience, harming no one. When it is his time to die, he laments. He is full of regrets, thinking that helping other people, volunteering for the town, and doing all the things that others did not want to do, was just a burden for him and his family. As he is dying, he thinks. Even if I have to cheat others or harm others, I have to be well off first. That's the most important thing in life. As he dies, lamenting his poverty, he imprints that last thought in his mind. When he's born into his next incarnation, he lives his whole life trying to be wealthy. Without worrying about compassion or morality, as a person dies, the single notion that he focuses on becomes the foundation of his next life's mind. Since this man planted married by doing good deeds in his past life, and since all the people who were indebted to him will pay him back in this life. He becomes wealthy. However, unless he cleanses his mind of that last determination, he will bear that selfish intention throughout his whole life. People who do not know the whole story will say that only a wicked person can be wealthy. On the other hand, there is a person who cares only for his wealth. He has no regard for morality or kindness. For his own gain, he even ignores his family. Such a person always realizes his mistakes at his last moment and shed tears of repentance. Perhaps this is an innate morality or wisdom uniquely possessed by human beings. He, he regrets. I have voraciously hoarded my wealth for my whole life. Yet when I die, I cannot take it with me. And he repents, thinking, "The most important thing in life is to be a good, kind person first." Because he dies with this last thought of goodness in his mind, when he is reincarnated, he lives his whole life. With the good intentions, however, since he did not do any good deeds for others or plant merit in his past life, he is always poor. He will live his whole life being harassed by the people he harmed in his past life.